What's up, everybody? It's Joe from Complex. We're in LA at Flight Club with multi platinum rapper Offset. Yes, sir. Gonna do some sneaker shopping tonight. Gonna see what he's feeling, what he's not, and then hopefully he's gonna buy some sneakers. Yeah, I'm gonna buy it up. I got a lot of it already, though. You know, I already collect. I do this. Let's go. Offset, let's talk early beginnings. I remember you said you used to browse 23 is back, a classic website. Yes, sir. Is that when you started to learn about Jordans and things like that? Nah, you know, we had came on, on the north side where I'm from in Atlanta. We had came up off of, you know, Jays. You just had to know the history. Like, you had to know your numbers. And you was not allowed to wear teams, point No fives, team Jordans, no point. Straight retros, you know right. what I'm saying? If you come in the cafeteria, this is a true story. Like, in my school, Burkman High School, if you come in the cafeteria with some team Jordans on, a lot of the kids would jump on the table and laugh Roast. and point and laugh and she's like, we can't step on the same floor. And like, I got old pictures like from MySpace when I had like the Olympic sisters on. And then when, when I used to go to 23 is back, you know, my mama couldn't really afford to buy me the shoes, but I know every release. Like mm -hmm. I know when they coming out and I have to try to do what I did. Like I sat in line at the Mall of Georgia for the Dornbecker sisters and didn't get it. Oh man. I ain't get the raffle. Stayed in line. I, I came there like at four in the morning. Skip school, lied and said I was at my homeboy house. But we was in line in the model Georgia, we didn't get them, but I later on got them in life, you know. The culture of me growing up, you had to wear the J's. You couldn't play. Like, if you couldn't get them, don't get them. You just get something else if you can't, but. <laughs> no way you can have face, Team Jordans. Anything, like, yeah. especially with the face. Like, I remember they had see through Jordans at one point. Not good. We'll take you out for the whole year, <laughs> for the whole year about that. <laughs> Offset, couple days ago, you Instagram a picture, one third of your collection. We see a lot of SBs. You're copping SBs heavy recently. Yeah. Do you remember that time when SBs were hitting heavy? Oh yeah, of course. I was going crazy with them because at one point they were a lot. It's more, they were cheaper than Jordans. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So they was a lot more affordable, but also they had the crazy colors. Like I got these lobsters. Mm -hmm. I got the skunks. Skunks. I got the stussies. Yep. Three bears you have? I got both pair. Yeah. I got the low De La Souls. I knew the wave was going to come back. It's coming back. You know what I'm saying? The shoe game got back popping to where yeah. it was. At first, it was like a little slow. I feel like 2015, mm -hmm. 14, 13, it wasn't getting respected because the colors was coming out. It's just so weird. Like, yeah. It wasn't no crazy. They quiet down for a little bit, the SBs, and now they're back full force. Right. I don't really see a lot of people still not. They, they haven't kicked in tune like six more months. Watch. We saw one third of the collection. You said that you have seven different closets. Cardi has a Reebok deal. Is there shoes all over the house? Shoes everywhere. I ain't gonna lie. I got a dining room full of shoes. I got a weight room. It's supposed to be a weight room full of shoes. I got a whole upstairs room. The top is like, it's, it fits two rooms and it's straight back full of shoes and clothes. I know I got like a um, million dollars of shoes. <sighs> million Easy. dollars. Shout out to my boy Travis. He gave me the fours. Purple fours, purple I heard. Fours. Friends and family, though, leather interior. Have you worn those I yet? I wore them one time, they in the glass. Okay. I might put them in my safe deposit box, you know what I'm saying? Right now, one of my, I feel like one of my rarest pair. Is this in Atlanta? Yes, sir. Okay, maybe you invite us in, we do a closet tour? Ooh, if I show you the closet, you're gonna run out of film. Our documentary. We're gonna run out of film, we're gonna have to do the film two, three times, it's, it's a load. Another picture on Instagram, you're at the counter here at Flight Club, you have the Kanye Bapes and you're like, should I buy them? Yeah. You did buy them. Yeah, that was cap. I was just, you know, getting the people engaged on what the drip was. But yeah, I was getting them for sure. Those are worth, I think, 5,000 on the low end. They're going for a lot. Will you wear those or are those? I you wore them once. Okay. Put them back in the glass box, but I'm gonna wear them two, three times though. What's yeah. it like, you know, a kid who was waiting in line missed out on the Doran Becker Sixes and now you kind of, you could get whatever you want? I take advantage of it, you know what I mean? I'm very blessed to be where I'm at in life in general, be able to go back to when I couldn't afford something and be able to buy it. Definitely. It's like, it's beautiful, you know what I'm saying? I take advantage of it, that's why I still do it now. Like, I gotta get the Supermans. Yeah, Doran Becker's Force. Yeah, I just seen Trav had yeah, those on. Yeah. I told him I need to get those. <laughs> the London Dunks, I'm for sure getting those. Look at these. Classics. They gotta wait, when, when they come in size 10, they gotta dial you up. Yeah, man. Come on, we gotta, they need to order me up. <laughs> ASAP. I owe them the ones, those are the V-Lines I was talking yeah. about. Yeah, Same bar. Point. Come on in with that color, you holding out.
2017, we had all three of you guys on the show. Yes, sir. We're by the like cash register, and you're holding the Air Mag, and you're like, these are stupid hard. A few weeks ago, I heard that you actually got them. Yeah. When did you make the decision to make the jump and finally get them? I got tired of like holding them, lighting them up, and, like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I was just like, it's time for me to just go and get them. So I just went ahead and got them. That collector, I haven't worn them yet. I'm gonna wear them one day though. I don't think I'm gonna wear it like something like on a red carpet. Hit that type of vibe. Uh, Charge them up, wear them on the red carpet, and make a statement. Make a statement for Shizzo. We've seen that you're going crazy hard. How much do you think you've dropped in the last two months? Just buying shit like that, like 30,000. So yeah. it'll be like, maybe like 100 grand. 100, yeah, in like two months, 100 grand. I'm probably gonna spend like 10, 15. Okay. okay. Are you the type that if you see it, like, you know, I know that. No, I gotta know the history. I gotta okay. know it's worth something. You know, I ain't gonna just blow the money. Got you. And just, you know what I'm saying, get something. Just, I, like, I'm not even gonna grab no Jordan that ain't even. It gotta be like, if it's over 2010, I'm straight. I can't Got you. Even. So more classics. More classics, especially when it comes to Jordan, because like, saturated now a little saturated. bit. Saturated. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Another pair, Macklemore Sixes. How'd you get these? So I did a song with him called Willy Wonka. Mm -hmm. We recorded it at his home. Seattle. It's also platinum. Okay. I came to the crib, and like, we was shooting hoops, man. He brought them out to me, like, appreciate you. This record going good. My brother, great friendship, and gave me those. In my head, I wanted to just like just go crazy and run around. You know, I played it cool. Yeah. But I already knew that's like a twenty-five grand shoe. Classic. And it's like, and he killed it. Yeah. It, they look great. This this colorway with the suede on the sixes. It's crazy. You the all green like it's one of one, one yeah. of a kind. Definitely. And mine is very special because it's from him. Well, we talked about everything. Now is the easy part or the hard part? Browse the shelves, see what you're gonna cash out on. Yes, sir. Let's do it. Let's go. Back again, G? Yeah, yeah, bro. You know, I already dropped 40. What else can you get? Shh. I'm trying to get it all, man. So I want them on uh, 2000, I think they seven, the package. Yeah, no Mars. love. We got that. And I want the OGs, black and gray ones, with a, with a suede a little different. Let me get the grapes. Yeah. Let me get these to high time. I had these in high school. I want the short tone. Let me get the countdown package. 13. See, really, I don't be going over 2012. They new school to me. I be like an OG. The OG. The ones that don't fall apart, though. Mm -hmm. I bet. Let's go to this back. What's up? All right, we taking them Georgetown for? I need the Georgetown for. So All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pay that 10,000. <laughs> I got you right now, G. All right, for sure. All right then, so you got a total of 27 shoes and your cash total comes out to $31,333.12. Cause I gotta hear him to catch his plane, so I'm gonna just take these, y'all just pack it up and I have my assistant or somebody come pick up the rest. So, Offset came through, did major damage, a new Flight Club record. Thanks so much for taking the time. Yes, sir. Thanks for y'all having me. Complex shout out y'all. Shout out Flight Club. Shout out Nike. Shout out everybody in the world. You know what I'm saying? I love you guys. Father Four out now. Stroll the Street is two out right now. Pink Toes. 100 Raps, me and Playboy Cardi. Go check that out. I got nothing but retros and SBs. That's over two Gs. You heard it. We need help with these bags. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs>